Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video by myself, Beckoning Cow. So today we'll be using the Rakdos Aristocrats deck. So currently this deck is top four in the meta right now. There is the Mythic Championship 7 coming up, so we might see that change. I have a feeling it'll go up, but that's just my opinion. So this deck's really fun to play. So you've got Cauldron Familiars, which... Um, which, when they enter, each opponent loses one life and you gain a life. So, one mana for a 1-1 one, one body and a 2 life swing already. Now, that's great. And it just gets so much better when you add Witch's Oven. So every turn, or every go around the board, if you if you get what I mean by that, you can sack the Witch's Oven to sack the Cold Familiar, bring it back, and do another, well, swing the life totals by another 2 points of damage so if you have 20 turns with this clock you'll kill them if they have no life gain furthermore you have claim the firstborn this works really nice with witch's oven as a removal spell so it, as a removal spell you take it and then you either sacrifice it to witch's oven priest of forgotten gods cavalier of night god's eternal bond to and you could also swing in with their creature to try and get them to either block it and maybe trade with one of theirs or just deal more damage to them. So it's a win-win situation. For one red mana, this is insane. Priest for Forgotten Gods, this is really nice. It's removal, it's card draw, it's like you deal damage to them. Just a very good card. Angraf's Rampage, really good removal. Because it's a sacrifice creature, it would trigger Mayhem Devil. So you could theoretically, if they have one toughness creatures, get rid of a couple of their things. Midnight Reaper, this is really nice card draw, so dealing damage to you. That doesn't really matter because you've got life gain off of Cauldron Familiar and also Witches Oven to gain life. Furthermore, you've got Cavalier of Light to deal life later on into the game. There's also Murderous Rider, this is also um, removal. Uh, taking two points of damage from these removal spells and from all these spells it just doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things because you've got the life link and you've got the life to get yourself back up there god eternal bond is really nice especially when you've got mayhem devil on the board you play it you can sack because you can sack lands as well so if you're getting flooded this can be really nice because you can sack all your excess lands and deal that much damage to them and also draw that cards so you deal with damage if you have a mayhem devil obviously but usually that's what you're kind of aiming for the mana base is nice, so we've got free castle Lockwain, so that's nice card draw as well. Once again, we don't really mind about the life loss because we've got the Cauldron Familiar, the Witch's Oven, you know, you know, you know. Then we've got 10 Swamps, 5 uh, Mountains. As you can see, this is quite heavily black, but we do need these mountains and red sources uh, when it comes to casting the Mayhem Devils, Claim the Firstborns, and some of the excess cards. So we've also got Blood Crypt. Uh, I've only running three in a deck, but I would have four if I had the extra rare wild cards. Also, Fabled Passage is really nice because you've got the Sacrifice Triggers, which trigger the other stuff, such as Mayhem Devil. And it's just really nice mana fixing. So if you're stuck on black, you could sack it to get your swamps. And if you're stuck on red, you could sack it to get your mountains. In the sideboard, we've got Duress. This is for against control players. So these are to get rid of removal cards such as maybe your time wipes your prison realms and also to get rid of counter spells such as your absorbs your quenches and all of those kind of things red cat melee is really nice in the mirror because it gets rid of mayhem devil um, and because we've got a load of low toughness creatures here mayhem devil really does swing in the favor for example one trigger a mayhem devil killing a cold familiar or a gutter bones We've also got Noxious Grasp, that's good against any white, any deck running white or green. Um, it gets rid of Teferi, back when Oko was a thing, it got rid of that, but thankfully we don't have to worry about that so much. Ember of Shieldbreaker, that's also really nice against your artifact. Um, well, it's good against a mirror, so it because it gets rid of a Witch's Other, which is really a... Um, Oh, what's the word? It's a catalyst for the deck, so it really helps to get it going and speed up the process. Angrass Rampage, this is good if you... Um, it's against a more creature-heavy or artifact-heavy deck, because, or even Planeswalker. So it's just a really nice card for if they're not playing a slower deck. And it's if it's aggressive, you would probably board this in. Cavalier of Night, this is good against the bigger, more bulky decks. So if it's a green deck, 
uh, if it's a green green if it's a gruel deck. So the highest they'll probably get is gruel spellbreaker, which is a four four, and this is a nice nice blocker for that. You gain a four life, and also the triggers for this is really helpful. So when it enters, you can sacrifice creatures to destroy another creature. So say sacrifice one of your cauldron familiars or gutter bones, of which you can easily get back. Also, you can claim the firstborn to take one of theirs to sack that. And with those um, plays, you're playing two cards to kill two of their creatures, which could be really nice. And it's two of whatever creatures you want, as long as one of the creatures is less than three mana, of course. But in this standard, a lot of the creatures are smaller, lower than three mana. For example, if you look at my curve, I've only got three creatures which are greater than which are greater than three mana. And when you have a look at the deck in total, I'm running. 25 creature spells so that's 22 creatures which are lower and that's kind of similarly reflected in the rest of the decks in the meta so that's how the deck's looking let's get into the games all right so into the first game we go i'll keep this return a card it's probably got to be bond two here we just don't really have the mana Yes. Get to a mountain. The next track of pieces of have got gods, and hopefully in the next two turns I will draw. Okay, so play jump food. Priest. Okay, that's nice because I needed my land. is nice because whenever he sacrifices creatures I can deal damage to him. So he's gonna have to deal with all of my creatures. He's got his own mayhem devil. And next turn I would have um I would have been able to claim the firstborn to take his mayhem devil and swung in, then I would have sacked two of the creatures to deal lethal damage to him, so he, he was kinda of right to in what he chose to do. I'll play on. This seems like a good matchup. Especially with the mayhem devils. I could, if I could hope to get another two next turn, that'd be amazing. But yeah, this deck is really fun to play. I just like playing red at the moment, um, red anyway, so if you want to check out other videos I've done on my channel, I've done a quite a bit of red. Not a good, I don't quite have the mana, this is nice. Keep, and I will, capture everything that is nice. There. I'll play Cauldron Familiar, because then I've got the ability at the very least to swing in for one point of damage extra. Trophy. He doesn't actually have um, the ability to play any spells. My turn. All right. Okay. Well, there we go. That was a very easy game. That one, but this deck is really good. So that has been the end of my deck tech on how to play the Rakdos Aristocrats deck in standard. So thank you guys for watching. It means so much to me if you could drop a like down below. 
subscribe turn the notifications on so you won't miss an upload i upload every wednesday at nine sunday at nine and i may post a few odd videos in between thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye